Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene. My channel is called Dress Yourself Happy. Today's video is a first impression tester Tuesday on the very expensive Sisley foundation at $170. I was interested in this one and the La Mer one and I took screenshots of it and asked you guys on Snapchat which one you wanted to see more. And Sisley got more votes, so I decided to do Sisley first. Don't worry, if you wanna see the La Mer one still, let me know in the comment section. I think this is the most expensive foundation I have tried. The second one would be the By Terry Terribly Densilis foundation. I'm actually wearing it again today. I already tested it out. I'm going to show you guys the footage. Before we get started, I'm going to share a couple facts about this foundation. The Sisley Le Tint foundation is a complete anti-aging foundation that provides a youthful, effective makeup look immediately. Complexion is radiant. It has pure pigments. The skin is smooth with unique smoothing base. Makeup stays perfect for up to eight hours. Skincare formula combines many powerful anti-aging ingredients based on the latest Sisley research. Most notably, it is formulated with Persian uh, Asasia extract, a key ingredient of Sisley's anti-aging for cellular energy, a source of radiance. The skin is more luminous and even instantly, and with continuous usage, signs of fatigue are minimized in four weeks. The face appears smoother and more firm. The appearance of wrinkles are diminished. Skin is moisturized, plumped, and firmer. This is an oil-free formula suitable for all skin types. First off, this foundation comes in eight shades. It comes in beautiful packaging in a pump, which keeps everything very hygienic and fresh. The price of $170, you're not just buying any foundation to even out your skin tone. You're also paying for the ingredients, which are supposed to help with anti-aging. So it's not just a foundation, it's also an anti-aging treatment. So be aware of that when it's not just a foundation charging $170 for coverage. It's a foundation that's also supposed to help your skin's texture, help your skin's radiance, and have anti-aging properties. So if you're interested in seeing how this $170 foundation wears, then just keep on watching the video. Hi guys. So today I'm super excited to be testing out this new Sisley foundation and this is supposed to last you eight hours. So it's not a super long wearing foundation, but it should get you through your day. So we'll see how this works. Um, my skin personally today is purging and having some issues. I did use one new sheet mask and clearly it did not sit well with me last night. Plus I've been feeling very run down. So my skin is purging because when your immune system is fighting off other things, your skin pays for it. So today I'm going to be using the Juice Beauty Primer. I've been using this for a while now and I quite enjoy it. Now I'm going to apply primer on the left side of my face because this is the side that is having more breakouts, like little bumps. And then this side I'm just going to use without primer because for $170 I want to see if this foundation wears well without primer. Primer is on the left side of my face. I'm gonna let that absorb a little bit. My battery is dying, so I will be right back. Primer is set on the left side of my face. I'm gonna actually go into the right side first, the non-prime side. This is really gorgeous packaging. I mean, there's eight shades in the collection, so it's pretty forgiving, and they do have pink and neutrally yellow tones. So you pull this out, it has a nice pump. I'm gonna shake it up. This is 2.B, and it's the shade Linen and I'm gonna pump one pump on the back of my hand. I'm gonna use my fingers on the right side and a brush on the left side. They recommend using your fingers to blend it in starting from the center of your face out or to use a foundation brush. So that's what I'm gonna do. I listen to the expensive instructions. You can see immediately with just a little bit of application, I was able to get rid of any pores, any minor redness and discoloration. I think it looks really nice. Showing you guys closer, like obviously this, I feel like I need a concealer because I am breaking out, but this looks really nice so far with just a little bit. I can definitely build this up a little bit more. It feels really nice on the skin. It feels really plumping and hydrating, and I think it does look like skin but better what's great about this is we're using natural light ultra hd so you're gonna see every follicle every pore every every blemish i have right now i'm gonna just go in a little bit more where i think i might need it and pat it in Now 
And there's no SPF in this product, so you don't have to worry about flashback. Do I look younger on my right side? do one pump on the left side of my face this is the primed side and I am going to use an artiste brush oval 8 because it's the only one I have for foundation and um, yeah let's let's just be all super high-end today and use the super high-end brush as well now they did say you can apply the foundation up for a lifting effect I typically don't rub my foundation up because that goes into the pores but since there's skincare involved let's try it the brush i immediately am using more product for less coverage because i think the brush soaks up a little bit of the product but you can see that was one pump and whereas this was one pump and i got a lot more coverage so let's do another pump with the brush So here you have it with two pumps using the brush. I really think fingers are the way to go with this because the brush is more of a sheer coverage. So if you need more coverage, use your fingers. I'm gonna use my fingers and kind of even out this side a little bit. Okay, so super close. This is what the foundation looks like. I feel like it did make my skin look a lot healthier and it evened out any of the minor discoloration, redness. It really made my pores look really nice. It's working well with my dry areas as well as with my oily areas. Now, I am going to set this. I think it's very important to set your foundation, especially if you are combination oily and dry. I'm pretty normal for the most part, but I do have dryness here, and I think it's important to set your foundation, especially if you're gonna apply other uh, products like blush and bronzer. So I will be right back with more makeup on my face. Hey guys, it is 12.28. I had originally put this on around 11.30 a.m., and now I have my full face done. I'm gonna get dressed and head out for the day, but this looks really good. Yeah, it looks really, really good. You guys can see like from here, this angle, natural light, super HD, unforgiving. Like look how freaking flawless that looks. Holy bejesus. Like the color match is really good. And this is like a bad skin day for me. I have texture issues. I have a lot of little red bumps. My skin's purging and not happy with me. And I mean, clearly you can still see the little bumps here raised, but the color is good and it looks so good. So you can see when I zoom in closer, you can see the textural issues, but you're not gonna be able, I tell you guys all the time, you're not gonna be able to fix texture with foundation because foundation is just color correcting and covering and you can't cover texture. You can kind of like trick the eye. So like from here, you can trick the eye and not see any of the textural issues as much. But when you zoom super close, you're, you're gonna see the texture of my skin. Um, and But this is like super, super close. Nobody's gonna be this close to me other than hubs. Can see and you can still see my freckles so it still looks like skin it's not super heavy looking it does not feel heavy at all it feels wonderful on the skin it has helped with the rest of my makeup blending you guys know I always have issues blending right here you can still see there's a weird dark spot that comes up but that's my skin and I was able to like blend out my blush really well over this foundation after setting it with powder I just used my translucent Laura Mercier powder but this looks good i'm wearing the kathleen lights and morphe collaboration on my eyes today um super happy with this so this is supposed to last eight hours i put this on at 11 30 a.m so i'll check in throughout the day and let you guys know obviously i'll at least wear it for eight hours so that would be about 7 30 in the evening but natural light looking really nice very happy Dang it, because it's $170, but I really like it. This looks really good. Like, look at my nose. This just looks really nice. I'd say it's about a light to medium coverage. You can build it up to a medium, but if you just do one pump, you can get a nice fluid one pump 
sheer to light coverage and then build it up to a medium with two or three pumps. Hey guys, it is, what time is it? 2.36, I'm in a different car. I'm in the car with Samantha. So <laughs> We're gonna go and we just had lunch and we're gonna go to a PR meeting. But this foundation looks really good. Like even Hobbs was taking a photo of me and was like, wow, that foundation looks so smooth. It does look really good. Really? Yeah, it, it looks like really natural. Like you just look. And I'm breaking out right now. It, you can, it doesn't look like that at all. But it doesn't look like you're wearing makeup. It's not like it's not too makeup-y. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and Samantha knows because she has a channel too. <laughs> That's not what I said. <laughs> no, I no, but I'm saying like of all people, like Hubs being like, oh, that looks smooth. Doesn't really. Yeah, sometimes guys, it's like, well, what the hell do you know? Yeah, but <laughs> whereas like Samantha wears makeup and tests makeup out and has a YouTube channel too, so she knows more about makeup than Hubs does. But look how good it looks on this camera. Hundreds of hundred dollars. Better be, better be looking that good. Yeah, and I'm kind of sweaty today because I decided to wear a sweater in Southern California. It's like, yeah, it's a little hotter than we anticipated. It's like 80. It feels like 80. So, showing you guys in super close. It just looks really, really nice. It looks better now than it did when I applied it too. Isn't that weird how that happens? I think it just takes time to like warm up to your face. And in case, I know you guys are gonna ask, I'm wearing the Kathleen Lights and Morphe eyeshadow collab. I think it's available now. <laughs> and my Jouer lipstick that's like fallen off. This is their new holiday collection that will be available on November 2nd, so it's available today. Winter Rose is what I was wearing, but some of it came off because I was rubbing it off after my um, salad. So, really like this one too. I have a discount code for Jouer. I also got a discount, for, discount code for nude sticks. You did? Yeah. I just got codes all over the place. Check the description codes for you. Box. Codes for you. Codes for you. <laughs> you get a code. You get a code. <laughs> okay, so I'll check it in a few more hours. It's been it's 12.30. I put this on at 11.30. So three hours. Um, it is now 4.43. I've had this on for five hours and 15 minutes-ish. And we're outside, or I'm in a car, but this is outside light, and I'm so freaking amazed at how this looks. It is looking a little bit heavy right here, but that's because I used like three pumps and was patting it on. I did not need to use that much product, but it still looks really nice. It's wearing really well. I'm not super oily at all in real life. I don't know what the camera is telling you, but in real life, I look good. And it looks good around my chin, which is where our product typically bunches and pills up first. I'm really happy with this. My under eyes look dry, but that's not foundation, that's concealer. Very happy. Samantha's in the car. So boo. <laughs> We're gonna go play with makeup. Hey guys, it's 7.47, so I've just passed the eight hour mark on this foundation, which is how long they say this should last. And I have to say, I'm still really happy with it. I am a little shiny on my nose right now, but not bad in real life. On camera, it does look a little shiny. I would just use a blotting sheet or a little bit of powder. Um, but I don't even feel like it needs to be touched up. I think it looks really good. It is starting to look um, like you can see more of my texture, especially in this lighting because it's that like ugly yellow light that we all have at home, which is very pleasant to our eyes, but not so pretty for our skin texture. It's not doing anything weird. It looks really good still. It looks like skin. It smoothed out my texture a lot actually because today was a bad skin day for me and you can't tell that I have a bunch of little breakouts or little red bumps and I think it looks really good. It feels really comfortable on the skin. It doesn't feel sticky. It doesn't feel oily. It doesn't feel dry. It's not patching up or doing anything weird. I actually really like how it's wearing and I'm excited to keep playing with this foundation because they say that with prolonged use or continuous use, the anti-aging benefits are supposed to be really good, but you definitely do need to wear it because it's a skincare based foundation. So it's an anti-aging foundation, meaning there's a lot of good ingredients in there to fight the signs of aging and fatigue. And I do feel like it looks good immediately. It makes my skin look really good. It wears well for eight hours. It looks beautiful 
on camera and off it looks amazing in real life I wish you guys could see it in real life and it's also going to give you those benefits of skincare so I will probably use this continuously and do a follow-up review either in a monthly favorites or a makeup bag Monday to let you guys know what I really think of it after using it for maybe a month that's a good four weeks I should be able to see if I feel like my skin has improved and if it's helped with any of the like firmness and sagging and you know dullness of my skin so so far I have to admit it's definitely a great foundation if it continues to improve my skin it's definitely worth the hundred seventy dollars you are paying for the skincare properties of this foundation but unlike a lot of skincare foundations this is wearing well it looks beautiful on the skin as it's working and giving you all that good ingredients so really enjoy it there's no SPF which makes me very very happy because I like to have a separate SPF and sometimes I don't want to wear a lot of makeup I just want like a little bit to even out the skin tone and that's never enough SPF so I'm very happy about that so there's no flashback this would be perfect for anybody looking for photography red carpet uh, filming kind of stuff I like that it comes in a pump I like the way it applies. I think it's a good light to medium coverage foundation. It is not going to be a full coverage foundation. It is not going to be matte or luminous. It's much, it's very much a natural finish foundation, a like skin foundation. It is good for all skin types, I feel like. If you're very, very oily, definitely wear a mattifying primer in your oily areas. If you are dry, this will be okay. I have dry areas here. I'm oily in my T-zone, and I think it wore really well on all areas of my face. It doesn't, it does not oxidize. It comes in eight shades, and it's a pretty forgiving foundation in terms of shade matching. So if you go a little light or a little dark, you'll be able to work with it. So I have nothing but good things to say about this foundation. Um, really, really impressed with it, actually. I got compliments from Samantha, I got compliments from Hubs, and both of them are very, very uh, opinionated when it comes to makeup and what I'm wearing, so I think it's good. It's a good thing. It, it proves that it looked good today. And this was the side without primer, and you can see without primer, it's still wearing well. This side had primer. I think the side with primer is still a little bit smoother versus no primer, but you don't have to wear a primer if you don't want to. If you don't like pr wearing primers, this will still work with it. So yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's Tester Tuesday video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you are going to try out this foundation, let me know. If you want me to try out another luxury foundation, let me know. You guys know I love luxury products. I really, really love high-end designer products, and I love testing it out for you guys to let you know if it's worth the price. I feel like this is one that is definitely worth the price. I'm very impressed by it. And of course it's not necessary if you want a more affordable option. I have tons of affordable foundations in my Tester Tuesday series. I even have drugstore ones if you're looking for that, but it's not gonna have the skincare benefits that this Sisley one has. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's first impression Tester Tuesday foundation review. And I hope to see you guys back here tomorrow for a Love It or Leave It Wednesday video. I upload five videos a week, every Sunday through Thursday with a Friday podcast that goes live on my podcast, Behind the Beauty, every Friday with a new guest. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and leave me a comment with any questions, concerns. I do try to read all of the comments. I'm a little behind on responding, but I am reading them all. And follow me on all of my social medias. Everything that I use in today's video, as well as anything like social medias, links, a podcast, all that is linked in the description box below. And if anything, I hope my videos help motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best from the outside in. I know when I look and feel my best, I just feel more beautiful and confident and able to deal with whatever it is life has to throw at me. And if anything, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night if you're watching as you fall asleep. And until tomorrow, I will see you guys right back here. Bye.